Hey y'all, I got another DIY. I made me a fall wreath. I love this one y'all. It turned out so pretty. I got the wreath form from Dollar Tree but and the ribbon. But I got the flowers from Hobby Lobby. They were on sale for half price. All together, my whole wreath cost like $23. I don't think that's too bad. One this pretty you bought in the store would probably cost twice that much. So I'm really happy about this one. And I hope y'all like the video. Okay, y'all. I was just showing you what flowers I bought. I love that rose. It was so pretty. I didn't end up using the little acorns. Yeah, I decided to wrap the wreath form in that ribbon just to keep all that straw stuff from falling out all over the place. I didn't have quite enough, but it didn't matter. There, we're just taking all the little flowers off to get them ready. That rose was hard to cut. I finally got it. Got a whole bunch of different kind of leaves and colors there, so that was cool. And I was figuring out what I wanted to put where, and I knew I wanted the rose at the bottom because I loved it, so got it on there first. And then I was just putting things here and there, however I thought they would look pretty. I should have put the rose back a little bit. I got it leaning forward, and I go all through the stuff i'll keep adding stuff around it trying to make it lean back a little bit i finally get it like i like it it just takes me a little while but there's only the second wreath that i've done that actually turns out decent so <laughs> it's not too bad i love how this one turns out y'all it is so pretty those flowers were so pretty and i don't think 25 dollars for a wreath this big is a bad deal what y'all think y'all think i spent too much money on the flowers I like some Dollar Tree flowers for stuff, but I just really love these Hobby Lobby flowers. They were so pretty. And I am use this for for either our house or my SOB if we get it done in time. Oh, sorry. That's my shack out back. My little art craft studio that we're building. <laughs> I went out and hung it on the door and it looked cute. But can't leave it there because we're not done with it yet. No. It took me over an hour to actually do the reef, but I sped it up a lot for y'all because y'all didn't want to let me watch me figuring it out and putting it here and putting it there and changing my mind. But I wish I'd have had more yellow flowers. Oh well, it still looks pretty. Y'all, I tried to do that kind of ribbon where you fold it this way and fold it that way and back. I made a total mess. So then I decided to try this one. It's not perfect, but it looks a whole lot better than that first one I tried. <laughs> I actually like how this one looks once I get it on the reef. I um, I I like that ribbon, but guess what? Glitter everywhere again. Oh well, as long as it looks pretty, it don't matter. I just had a lot of cleanup to do afterwards. <laughs> I tied it together, and then I got my thing to put over the middle to cover up the jute stuff. Sorry about that. My husband and son come in from outside. Anyway, I was trying to fluff it. <laughs> That's what I see all the videos do. Excuse me. It comes out pretty good. I thought I wanted to add that piece, but then I changed my mind. Fluff it some more. You can never fluff it too much. That's what I've seen. And I had to clean up a little bit. Then I couldn't figure out how I wanted to do the tails. First I thought I would cut one piece in half. That that would be good enough. But then I didn't like the way that looked. So I decided, well, I'll just fold it in half. That's basically the same thing, ain't it? <laughs> so I didn't like that either. So I cut two big pieces. Yeah, I like that a little better, but it's going to crimp the top and then make it big on the bottom. And that's what I finally settled on. I think it looks okay. Especially when it gets on the reef with everything else. So, cut the tails and make them look pretty. Fluff it some more. 
Now, I'll figure out where I'm going to put it. Of course, I only had one spot left, huh? <laughs> anyway, I glued it on. And then I decided I needed to add some leaves in places where I could still see too much of the reef thing. So that's what I did. I went around and added leaves everywhere that I wanted them. Until I got enough on there that I thought all of it was covered and it looked pretty. I had to hang it up on the door a few times to see because for some reason I could tell better up there than I could on the table. I don't know why. And I said I'm going to add some of them things up there because I had a little spot that showed. So I did that. And then a few more around the outside. And then we were done. Ain't it pretty, y'all? I love it. It looks so cool. Thanks for watching the video, y'all. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up.